the Sharonville Convention Center. It is one of the nation's largest metaphysical conventions, and the headliner is world-renowned psychic medium Lisa Williams. We've been talking about this all week and waiting for her. She is going to be doing two life reading sessions along with a workshop on transforming grief. But first, she's here with us in the studio this so morning. So good to see you Thank again. You. Thanks, Thanks for coming be back. Here. Absolutely, it's great to be back. So. Uh, back at the Victory of Light, I think this is the second time that you've been here. Can you tell us a little bit about some of these workshops that you're going to be doing? Because you're actually going to be available for three separate sessions. Yeah. I know, let's start with the one on grief, because we were just talking about that. Not a lot of people talk about grief and how they yeah. kind of heal from that. And you know, it's, a, it's such a... It's a great subject, but not many people talk about it because they're like, okay, so someone's died, let's sweep it under the carpet. And I feel that a lot of healing comes in people sharing their stories. So this workshop is going to be really interactive. Gonna, I'm going to get circles of love and everyone's going to share their stories. And of course I'll do readings. It wouldn't yeah. be Elisa Williams things without right. doing readings, mm -hmm. of course. But it will just be helping people move through the process because you can never get over someone because it's like cutting your right arm off. You know what it's yeah. like. So I feel as though it's very very important to actually address this subject to actually help people and deal with sometimes the difficulties of life but we also have to realize grief is not just someone who's passed it's losing a job divorce relationships oh, sure. all sorts of other things I know that you um, your your grandmother had the same gifts that you yeah. do as a psychic medium and it took you a while to, to really get into it but but over the years and dealing with all the people you've dealt with on both sides, spirit and people. What's the biggest thing you would say you've learned? Mm. You know, I, I think I've actually learned, um, I think it's really about taking care of you, going through, taking moments and dealing with your own, I guess, mental health, getting mm. with your own, your own boundaries, learning to say no. Because there's so many people that take on the world's problems, take on everybody else's problems. Oh, sure, I'm there for you. But it's, and also living in the moment. Mm. Spirit will always say, don't put off you know, something, do it now. Just come on, have fun, because life's too short. So really it's about creating those boundaries, realizing that you also have to look after yourself, but also to take life by the horns and run with it. I love that. Yeah. I do too, and you know, a lot of people, I think when they hear the term psychic medium, they think that, um, you know, I don't want to say all you do is predict the future yeah. because that's a huge <laughs> thing, but, but right. there, like you're just describing right now, there's so much more to it uh, in, in, in what you do and helping people deal with grief uh, in you know dealing with your own energy around certain things can you talk more about what you can help people with so I do a lot of teaching and I feel that in certainly the demonstrations where I'll be talking to obviously the loved ones of those who have crossed over um, I feel what I do is I give a lot of healing in that I feel as though it gives a lot of closure it helps them understand that life really does continue on but what I've also realized is that people need to understand the signs so what do what do we look for um, I mean we've all seen signs you sure know, the butterflies the pennies on the floor all of those things so it's looking for the signs and it's also really realizing that you actually don't need someone like me mm -hmm. you had probably the most amazing experience in a dream the other night yeah. or you you saw the penny and it's like oh my gosh thanks dad you validated that for me the last I time know. you were here the coins that's right I do remember that yes and yes Yesterday I found a coin on the floor and I thought Lisa's coming tomorrow. I, I mean, you validated that for me, and now every time I feel a little bit of love for my dad whenever I see that, Aww. because you were able to tell me that I, that what I thought was true. So it was really funny because, you know, I don't know, obviously, I don't have a spiel to come out and say what I say <laughs> when I'm interviewed, but I suddenly went, oh, and the coin on the floor from dad. So maybe that was him coming through and saying, hey. <laughs> that's, that's neat. It's wild, isn't it? It is. It oh. is wild. And you bring people joy by doing yeah. that. Yeah, thank you. you know? I enjoy yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what do you say to people who are kind of non-believers in <laughs> these type of situations? Because I'm a big believer. I've, I've <laughs> had great it experiences. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah, or do you just, does it not bother you and just say, well, it's just not for you? Or you know, I think I, I was born with a skeptic in the family because mm. my dad Your is dad, a, my yeah. dad's a massive skeptic and now I'm married to kind of someone who's skeptical too huh. he doesn't believe in it well he doesn't believe in it he believes in me oh, uh, wow. because he's seen the transformation that I've done on stage with many many people but you know the skeptics don't bother me anymore I, I really just say well that's your opinion yeah. but don't knock the people who do believe and then uh, they do the whole religious thing and I'm like maybe I'm doing the work for the people who have lost faith in God mm. or have lost the faith or need something so and I don't want to open that whole religious thing up because I believe in God and whatever but it's it's 
I feel as though everybody's entitled to their own opinion. Sure. And the skeptics amongst us, you know what? Great, because it makes me work harder. Yeah, well, if you feel like maybe you need something, maybe you don't even know what it is. Right. But you can try out the Victory of Light Festival this weekend. It's tomorrow and Sunday at the Sharonville Convention Center. And it's from 10 to 7 both days with 85 wow. presenters. 300 psychics, healers, and exhibitors, and of course, Lisa Williams. Go to local12.com, click on the Get It Now links for more. It was, it was so wonderful to yeah. talk oh, to you again. Thank, thank you, Lisa. Absolutely, my pleasure. Yes, thank you so much. So it just feels good to have her in the room. Right? You know, the energy I changes. know, yes. it's great. So go, go get some more good energy at Victory of Light this week. We'll be, <laughs> we'll be right back.